The Bofam Je Foundation has perfected the art of giving, maintaining a year-round commitment to philanthropy. Just in time for the back-to-school season, the foundation brightened the futures of two students from the Kamen Rene Memorial School, awarding them full scholarships that cover all their educational needs. Director Alison Je notes that these and other efforts align with the foundation's broader mission of crime prevention, aiming to steer youth away from violence. By providing skills, by providing assistance to the needy, by assisting in health, with health um, wellness, and, and, and the other senior citizens' homes, the juvenile center, that all of that together will assist in reducing um, the scourge of crime that we're seeing because it's a very, very, very concerning to me, to my family, and to the foundation, especially since Bofam himself was a victim of a criminal act. September 6 marks six years since Bofam Je's tragic death at the hands of off-duty officer Amber Geiger, who claimed she mistook his apartment for her own, believed Je to be a burglar, and shot and killed him. As Geiger's parole herring looms, Bofam's mother, Alison Je, now turns her focus to St. Lucia, where she confronts a disturbing surge in callous acts of violence. I want to say lastly that my heart goes out to the mother in Babono, the mother of, um, I think, a Dilair, who was gunned down right in her presence about yesterday morning. I think this is heartbreaking for a mother to be able to see her son no matter who that son was what happened what he was i don't know much about it but for a mother to see her son gunned down i think it's a terrible act it's an act that we must denounce in a world where the sanctity of life is overshadowed by vengeful killers wielding the cold piercing steel of guns alison Scher pleads for an end to the violence even though there may be conflicts and, and, and we have to seek to resolve the conflicts in a different way. But to kill him in the presence of his mother is the worst act that one can pursue. And, and that person will really need, will really pay for what he's done. Because when you lose a child, it is one thing. You feel it in your womb. Far less to see that child being killed right before your eyes. I think this is terrible. I am denouncing it, and the whole of St. Lucia needs to denounce it. Je calls on every facet of society to play its part in helping to fight back criminal elements. By reaching out to the younger ones, to those who are in need, to those who need counseling, to those who need food, to those who need supplies, to those who need skills. The others have to come from individuals. We have to look in our communities and try to reach out to some of these young men and women who we see are idle. Sometimes you could see the formation of these, these gangs and these criminal forces. And so individual on an individual basis, we need to reach out. Don't cast a blind eye on it. Another thing too, we're afraid to speak. People are afraid to speak. So in assisting the police, the police cannot do it on their own. The police are not magicians. And so they need evidence, they need eyewitnesses in order to come forward. So dealing with crime is not just a one shot, you know, one attempt and we just curb crime. I think it has to come from all forces. Je's plea is a desperate cry for peace amidst the clamor of conflict, seeking to restore respect for life and usher in a future free from the shadows of gunfire. Solaj Alfred, HDS News Force.